What is going on guys? It's your boy, RSR from RSR Collections and guys, belated happy Valentine's Day guys. So, you know, I really hope you guys all had a great Valentine's Day. Um, whether you spent it with someone or spent it on your own, you know guys, I'm just glad you guys had yourselves yeah! or someone to spend Valentine's Day with. <laughs> that being said guys, this video is long overdue and by long I mean a couple days. I promised I was supposed to have this uploaded by, I don't know, I think it was this past Thursday. Unfortunately, things came up. You bought RSR from RSR Collections and it's just been busy with life, you know? Uh, but with that being said, guys, as promised, here is the booster box video of Konami's latest and first core set of 2022, Battle of Chaos, guys. And before we get started with our box opening, I just wanted to show this off real quick that we won another giveaway, guys. And boom, there, well, I guess it's gonna, it, it's a he, right? So there he is, guys. It's the Liberal, uh, Liberal Mancer Geek Boy in Ultra Rare. So this was one of the, um, I do apologize. I should have put in a nicer top loader, but, um, <laughs> guys, this was one of the, um, this was one of the promo cards during the Sneak Peek Premier event that they were giving away. So I believe you either won this. I, I don't know how many, you know, OTS stores, like how many copies of this card you got per OTS store, but I know that you either won the playmat, which would have been nice, but my boy at JRECA the Collector unfortunately beat me to it. But hey, man, 50% of something is better than 100% of nothing, boys and girls. So that being said, it's just cool to win another sweepstakes. Well, I shouldn't say sweepstakes, but just in general, like another card, another giveaway, guys. So this ultra rare Liberal Mancer Deep Boy, which is a secret rare in the Battle of Chaos, guys. So with that being said, I'm just going to put that in the background there, guys. So with that being said, let's get this pack opening underway. And, uh, oh, there you go. Let's get this pack opening underway. Let's do it. Before we get started with opening, though, I believe, I just have to find them here. Yes. Guys, just as promised in the last couple of videos, we've been opening one Power of the Duelist pack at the end of each video, and we will keep that trend going, guys. So I'm just going to put that off to the side along with our field center. Let's get straight on into this, guys. Let's go. First corset of 2021, guys. I think, yeah, no, this set is, by all means, like, wow. <laughs> Trimmed my nails, and I don't have nails to open the Konami seal. Uh, but yeah, guys, like, with this set, like, it's super duper, like, exciting. Um, I think this is a great way to kick off the year um, when it comes down to, like, which sets are coming up first. Like, because this time last year, the first, like, main set or core set was, um, it was pretty garbage, right? It was... Uh, Blazing Vortex as you're watching me struggle. <laughs> kind of get this done. There you go. Hey guys, it was Blazing Vortex. Blazing Vortex was the, was the first core set of the year of 2021 that came out around the time of this set, which was Battle Chaos. So, um, as you can tell, night and day difference, guys, from the year of 2021 to 2022. And I'm still struggling to open the seal, guys. This is an instant fail. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, it's just, like, so far, like, even Grand Creators, like, personally, if I compare that to Genesis Impact from last year, like, again, it's night and day difference. I think the Grand Creators was a pretty, uh, it was a pretty cool set, uh, some valuable cards in there when it comes to at least the Collector's Rares, I believe, uh, compared to Gen Impact. But guys, the seal is finally off. Let's go. And of course, if you haven't noticed, in the spirit of, you know, the month of love, Valentine's Day, I figured I'd go with a somewhat red background for our pack opening today, guys. Because I don't think I'll be doing any more, like, fresh openings this month. <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's get started. Battle of Chaos 2022, February. Let's go. First pack. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. How sick would it be if we could pull that Dark Magician, guys? Dimension Conjurer. The End of the Line. Branded Disciple. Noru Ares the Venerable Dragon. And nice, our first Seeker Rare, Ice Jade Cosmo Chalor. DDD Headhunt. Uh, some Dogmatica stuff, Dynamorphia Diplos, and more Dynamorphias. So I think of the first couple packs, guys, we'll go, we'll take our time a little bit. Uh, just to kind of, you know, um, 
yeah, <laughs> just to get familiar uh, with some of the common cards that are in this set as well. Uh, that's pretty sick though. Top uh, top booster pack ended up being the secret in this box. Uh, Tribe Drive, uh, Soul Sweeper gets sweet. Branded Disciple, Kai's of the Hidden Star. Nice, and a super rare Dark of the Charmer Gloomy. I do have a Spirit Charmer deck, guys, so that is perfect for me. Uh, Flower Dino, the Agent of Destruction, Venus, Im Imprudent Intrusion, and the Great Double Casted Caster. Two known effect monsters. It's interesting, actually. <laughs> all right, guys. All right, all right. That's our second pack. Our supers, our secret, and hopefully we can get a Starlight or even that Dark Magician, right? Um, what's the, what are you getting in the box? Is it three ultras, two secrets? Three ultras, two secrets. Soul Sweeper once again. We got Tribe Drive, the Magnet Warrior, Dynamorphia Brute, and our first super rare is Nordic Smith, Evil, Evil, Evil D, Evil D. All right. Uh, Serpent Strike, Smoke Mosquito, and Bad Hacker. So that's our, yeah, our second super rare so far, guys. Oops, I'm not in the wrong pile. Next pack from the left. To the left, to the left. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Actually, let's run this pack. End of the line. Skilled Brown Magician. Rock Skills. Uh, Senri. And our first Ultra Rare, Dragon Bite, guys. This card's normal summon. You can special summon one level four lower insect monster, guys. Insects. Let's put it right there. It makes me nervous that that's already our first ultra rare <laughs> shell monster rebirth perfect yeah it makes me really nervous that that's our uh, our first ultra rare but yeah, guys before i continue give me one second. you might have already seen the thumbnail but in the spirit of this dark magician we're trying to hunt for guys may the heart of the cards be with us with the yami yugi the pharaoh funko pop guys i don't know if you guys collect pops but uh, even if you don't and you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan like the Yu-Gi-Oh Pops are must-have in anybody's collection. Similar to when, like, Pokemon collectors, they might not collect Pops, but I know quite a few that went hunting down for the um, uh, for the Funko Pops, guys. Senri, Fire Opal Head, what? Ghost Trick Siren, Neroy, Jenkins, just kidding. Uh, it's a spell. Nordic Relic, Heljjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjjj
All right, guys, next pack. We're almost, well, I think we're just about halfway done on the left side, guys. I'm just on the left side. So the GX box, Speed Duels box is coming out soon. I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, Hidden Arsenal boxes are coming out at the end of this month. Doll Happiness. And... Hmm. Uh, Lib Lib Libromancer Agent, guys. Alright. Uh, Smile Potion. Mutant, Mutant. S-Force. And yeah, S-Force. X-Force. But yeah, uh, Speed Duel Box, Hidden Arsenal is coming out soon. There are some other products that they've already announced. Uh, I think goes from the past too. That's going to be super duper exciting. Um, just being able, and I really hope, and I think the rumor is that there's going to be meaningful reprints in that set. So that's going to be nice compared to the first Ghost from the past. All right, guys. Vampire Ghost, our second ultra rare. Nice. So I am personally, some Ghost Trick stuff. I am personally being... I'm a little bit underwhelmed <laughs> with what our pulls are, especially if I'm right, if it's like three Ultra Rares and two Secrets. Um, yeah, a little bit underwhelmed right now. A little bit underwhelmed. <laughs> Alright, guys. Here are the Dream Mirror. We got the Magnet Warrior, Kaiser the Hidden Star, the Venerable Dragon. Magic Karibo, cool! That's definitely a collection card. That's, I can't wait. Yeah, some accessories are coming out based off of, right? We got the playmat coming out soon, the sleeves, the, de the deck box, Seamorg. Right, so yeah, I can't wait for some of those accessories to come out. Um, I've been grabbing, uh, I think, every playmat that Konami has made since Ash Blossom. The only one I pa Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. The only one that I passed on was the Egyptian God playmat. Just, and I think you all can probably you know, um, speak similar. Uh, to this, like, it was just such a plain and boring design. They, for the Egyptian gods, like, you would think they would have done a little bit better. Alright, guys. It's a spell. Ultimate Fusion! Nice! Yay, I wanted the Fusion cards for Blue Eyes. So, no, that's awesome. And then just our comments, guys. So, I think we're just getting a bunch of repeats now for comments. So, we're just gonna start powering through, through the rest of this box. We got one whole side here, guys. One whole side. So, we got two Ultras and one Secret, guys. So, I am a little bit nervous because, again, I just hope that this box will actually be decent for us. <laughs> Monstro monstrosity. It's a trap. Our second Secret Rare is Dinomorphia Domain, guys. And I think we're capped at uh, Secret Rares, I'm pretty sure, from there. Pretty sure we're capped at Secret Rares. Uh, but yeah, like, what other Yu-Gi-Oh products are you guys excited for? Because, yeah, like, this, I think the Speedo box is pretty sick, so, uh, especially now that, you know, we can get a Destiny Hero Dasher out of there, so sell off your rares now if you can. <laughs> Ghost Tricks Siren. Hmm, Starlight Star Bright? No, just another regular Dark Charmer. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. And again, we're just repeating commons now at this point, guys. Next pack. Oh! Battle of Chaos. I just wish they made the ratios just a little bit better when it comes to like these sets. <laughs> you already dump so much money into these into these packs, into these cards, and I don't know. You would just think Konami would uh, Ice Jade. Uh, you would just think Konami would kind of just increase the ratios even slightly better. Like obviously you're gonna have your money Starlights and your money Ultras in a set, but like if you can make one of them a little bit easier to find, like. That'd be nice, so it just makes buying a box almost worth it. But, you know, I know. I get it. It's for the gamble, right? <laughs> it's for the gamble. Doll Happiness, I ain't happy right now. The Magnet Warrior. And our third Ultra is Ice Shade Azure. Azure? And I think I think we might be capped for our Ultras and Secrets at this point now, right? Pretty sure we're capped. Let's find out. Again, I yeah no. <laughs> All right, Soul Sweeper, Branded Disciple, end of the line. This might be the end of the line. Trap, Intervention. I actually think you might be capped on those on like rarities. Like I think you're only guaranteed these cards. Three ultras, two secrets. At least I, I remember somebody telling me that's what it was. Or is it five ultras, three secrets? Four ultras, three secrets? 
I don't know, man. Ever since the days where they used to do, like, you know, you're guaranteed an ultimate rare in a booster box, like, I've pretty much lost count of what you're guaranteed. Dictator of D, nice. Nice, not a bad super rare. Again, just going back to who I support. Uh, next pack. Honestly, I might have to go back in. I might have to go back into this box. Meanwhile, I say I'm supposed to be saving up for a house. <laughs> it's all happiness. Alright, Sedri. It's another trap. Nordic Relic. Sap. Nordics. Yeah, good times, eh? The five Ds is good. Well, yeah, I think that, that those Nordic cards were around the five Ds time. <laughs> But guys, how do you feel about the ban list? It's finally in effect as of February 7th, right? So how do you guys feel about the ban list? Have you guys adapted to the ban list? Ooh, I don't like the Have you guys adapted to the ban list? Are your decks ready for the ban list, guys? <laughs> that is the money question. Just doing some research and seeing some of the deck profiles that people are pulling off with the new blue eyes and uh, magician stuff, like, it's pretty sick. It's pretty sick, guys. Sword Soul Strife, Sonic, of Fates, Twist of Fate, and Libromancer Magico. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're done. <laughs> I am pretty, pretty sure we are done, guys. We're, this is our third pack, or third last pack, sorry, is what I meant to say. Come on. Force Trick or Treat, The Magnet Warrior, Monstrosity, Peace Power, please. Our Dinomorphia can... Dinomorphia Ken Kendrina? Kent Regina is our fourth ultra. So yeah, four ultra, four ultras, two secrets. Four ultras, three secrets. Second last pack as Well, now we know we're not getting the Dark Magician. <laughs> now we know we're not getting the Dark Magician. Rocky scales. Unless. <sighs> ah, the Promancer. Every time I see blue guys, the first thing in my head is it's all right, this is the last pack of Destiny, guys. Can we pull a Starlight Rare? Can we pull Dark Magician? I doubt it, because I know we're capped, but you know, you never know. Dynamorphia Sonic, Senri, Monster Bear, DDD Headhunt, Smoke Mosquito, Sword Soul Strife, April Maiden, how many cards are left? Ah, yeah, see, I knew we were captured. Dinomorphia, Stealth, and Bergia. Guys, this box <laughs> that I grabbed was actually a mad brick. Like, yeah, no, I'm actually not happy or satisfied with the box that I personally got. This box is a mad brick. <laughs> oh, man, jeez Louise. I'm actually kind of disappointed. I might actually have to go back in. I might have to go back in, guys. But uh, as I ponder on this disappointment, just trying to get the commons out of, out of my way here. <laughs> but yeah, as I ponder disappointment, guys, let's hope that we can make our money back in our Power of the Duelist pack. Alright. Oh, come on. We an ulti, Ghost Rare, Dark Neos. Like, we can make our money back. Anyways, here, here, come to your Neos, under Garage. Need you, Cerbosaurus. That was the Starbird. Crop Circles. Destiny Hero Blade Master. Destiny Mirage, probably not. And a Spell Calling, guys. Spell. You know what? I am done. <laughs> We're gonna open the last pack of Power of the Duels we had in our collection, guys. We are not going away empty-handed here. I refuse to walk away empty-handed here, guys. All right. I'm just trying to be as careful as possible. Oh, you can tell just how old these packs are. All right. Once again, shout out to Jesse Cotton for these packs. Wonder Garage, Alien Gray, Mir uh, Miracle Jurassic Egg, Synthetic Serapin, Black Terra. Mazaleum of the Emperor, cool, cool, cool. Decoy Roid. Bit Leon. Ah, uh, Overload Fusion. Yeah, okay. We just got lucky with the Dasher. Well, 
<laughs> that is it, guys. Yeah, no, again, r regardless of how disappointed I am right now, guys, Battle of Chaos is actually a pretty money set. It's just a shame that I just got the bad luck of the draw, right? But 100%, this is a set worth going into, guys. So, once again, guys, you know, thanks for joining me. As always, thank you for the support. Uh, I do have tons of content that's just ready to be, you know, edited, uploaded, and ready to be viewed by you guys. Uh, this is, like, some of this content I've been holding back on just for, you know, emergencies in case i run out of stuff but i think end of this month hidden arsenal is coming out so i'll probably have something there for you guys but uh yeah nonetheless thank you thank you thank you thank you for always joining your boy rsr from rsr collections and guys now i'm signing off we're done <laughs> so once again once again guys take care stay safe you know the drill deuces